Are you passionate about the environment? Are you dedicated to personal and public safety? Do you have patience and good organization skills? If this sounds like you, don't waste this opportunity for a career as a hazardous waste management technologist. Hazardous waste management technologists collect samples for analysis and provide information, training, and advice on the proper packaging, handling, and disposal of toxic waste. They conduct inspections and waste audits, investigate environmental incidents, initiate enforcement procedures, and monitor and control the cleanup of contaminated land, water, and air. To help us inspect the details of this career, we talked to a hazardous waste management technologist working here in Alberta. Hi, my name is Brad, and I'm a hazardous waste management technologist. A hazardous waste management technologist is a person that can provide information and training on how to properly package, identify, and label hazardous waste. They also can perform site inspections or waste audits. And then we facilitate the removal, transport, and subsequent disposal of the contaminated waste from the sites that we monitor. Some of the waste types that we deal with are glycol fluids from automotive shops, paint cans, car batteries, contaminated soils, contaminated water, industrial wastewater, anything that's been impacted by something that can't go to regular garbage. A hazardous waste management technologist could work anywhere that produces waste. A refinery, um, an industrial machine shop, public works departments, or healthcare facilities. They might also work at environmental consulting and contracting firms, or other companies that generate hazardous waste, such as mining, manufacturing, or transportation. A typical day for me would be to check emails, schedule my day accordingly, and head out to the field to either sample waste for our clients and potentially package waste if it's been a pre-booked service and then prepare the paperwork accordingly so that it can be shipped off site and to the appropriate disposal facility. For a hazardous waste management technologist to be successful, they do need good organizational skills, keen eye and ability to think on your feet. You need to be able to operate sampling instruments, be able to use computers to manipulate and analyze data. Being familiar with waste management and treatment facilities and the associated equipment is a must. Some of the tools that I use as a hazardous waste management technologist are, most importantly, protective equipments like gloves, safety glasses, hard hat, sometimes chemical suits are needed. The safety aspect is very important, especially when we're transporting that waste down the road. We have to make sure that it's secure and minimize any risks. As a hazardous waste management technologist, you have the option of taking a two-year diploma program or possibly a three or four-year degree program. Some supplemental courses that you can take to help become a successful hazardous waste management technologist are courses such as WIMIS, which is Workplace Hazardous Material Identification System, TDG, Transportation of Dangerous Goods, H2S Alive, that's especially applicable in the oil field. Construction safety training system is another good course to take for becoming a hazardous waste management technologist. With it, but, uh, there's a little for bit somebody who's interested in becoming a hazardous waste management technologist, I think an affinity for chemistry is a big part of it. What inspired me was chemistry. I had a high school teacher that made chemistry super interesting and I just developed an affinity for that. The most satisfying part of it is helping problems go away and helping the environment. That's what I will continue to do. I could be doing a bulk fluid transfer, one day repacking a bunch of waste for a lab that's been shut down the next. That's what I love about being a hazardous waste technologist is it's always changing. Hazardous waste management technologists are comfortable working with mechanical devices and instruments. They need to keep up to date with current regulations, guidelines, and environmental legislation. If you want to be part of the solution, I'll hazard a guess that you'll find this career very rewarding. Find out more about this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges, and the occupational profile on the Alice website. While you're there, check out some related occupations, including biochemist, environmental auditor, and sustainability specialist.
explore the possibilities, go to alice.alberta.ca.